He's a caring guy, always willing to help, always willing to be there for anyone and everyone. A community trying to wrap their minds around losing Bill Faust. While investigators haven't released his name, friends tell us he was one of the people fatally stabbed Sunday night. You can call him any day or night, any time. He'll pick up and pick up. He was a pillar in the recovery community and the area's clean and sober softball league. He starts every day with a prayer before we play and he ends every game with a prayer. We're surrounding ourselves with people in recovery. We're surrounding ourselves with each other and just living love off of that because that's all we can do right now is for him. It was 24 hours ago that their friend was taken too soon. ELF red response with law enforcement for injuries from a stabbing. The calls came in just before 9 Sunday night. Sounds like there are two victims. One person inviting one male bleeding profusely, unknown location of wound, and a female injured as well. What deputies found inside the home? Four people stabbed. Two were already dead, including a woman who hasn't been identified. Two others airlifted to the hospital. But the ones who called 911 made it out unharmed and gave deputies a good suspect description who arrived in less than four minutes. They heard noises off to their, to their left. Uh, which turned out to be the suspect crawling through the brush armed with a, a butcher knife. The suspect lived in the home that is a residence for people who are in recovery for addiction. It's not a problem house. It's not uh, a place that has been on our radar for that reason at all. Ready, ready to accept the things I cannot change. And for the community honoring Bill, they just try to remember what would Bill do. To love one another. That's what he was. He was just loving God. Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.